Hello, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, don't forget to introduce yourself in the comments. My husband spent this morning trimming all the greenery around our patio. So there's lots of casualties. Rather than throw them straight on the compost heap, I've rescued a few of them to put into this vase. Now, green and white are a great combination, but what do you do when you haven't actually got flowers to put in a vase? I'm thinking of spray painting some of these leaves, but what kind of spray paint should you use? I'm Julie from Julie Davis Flower Workshops and Flower Start, the online flower arranging classes. I'm going to do a little experiment, see whether it makes a difference using any old household spray paint compared to a specialist paint from Oasis. This one says, the only spray in the world delicate enough to colour and preserve fresh flowers. So let's give it a go. You should only use spray paint in well ventilated spaces. So what better place to do this than on the lawn in my back garden? I've laid out a dust sheet and then I'll get spraying. I'm going to start with my Rust-Oleum painter's touch first of all. So I need to take off the lid and give it a good shake. The Rust-Oleum paint goes on really well. Lovely, light, soft layers with no dripping at all. Whenever you're spraying, you're best off doing it in light spurts, not keeping your finger down on the plunger and just doing one continuous shh. Next up is the Oasis spray paint. So exactly the same thing, shake the can, take the lid off and spray in lots of light layers. Now I've got a problem here to begin with that my spray can, I know there's not much spray paint left, but I'm having difficulty getting any paint to come out of the can at all. And when I start spraying, it starts splattering everywhere. I don't know whether that's down to bad workmanship, whether it's down to the fact that there's not much paint left in the can, but my hands end up with loads of spray paint all over them. I have another go with my Oasis spray paint, and I'm going to spray very lightly over my choisier here. And you've got two options when you're spraying, whether you want to build up lots of light layers but give solid coverage, or whether you want to go for a more mottled effect. And again, there's paint splattered everywhere. And to keep things equal, I'm going to do a light spray coverage on my ivy, this time using the Rust-Oleum. Coverage here was much better and I was far more confident about spraying and enjoyed getting just a light frosting on my ivory leaves instead of a really heavy coverage. I didn't want totally white leaves, just a bit of textural difference. You'll see in this next shot what I mean about the spluttering of the paint. There's quite a light coverage here, just almost as if it's got a little bit of raindrops on it, but every so often there's just a splat section. And here on the leaves as well, it's given a nice light coverage using the Oasis spray paint. But every so often, it's just a, a blob of paint, which I don't really like. But the coverage of the rust it's given me a nice consistent spray. It just looks like those leaves have been frosted on a winter's morning. And then moving over to the leaf, where I was giving much solid coverage to so a totally white leaf, it's gone on really well. My paint has dried now, but the big question is, was I impressed? First up, I got the Oasis spray paint. Now, to be honest, my hands are filthy from using this paint. And I don't know whether it's because my can is nearly empty, but it was spluttering and splashing everywhere. And I didn't think the coverage was very good at all. It's given me a lovely mottled accent color, but there are a few blips and blops. And what about the rust -oleum? Well, it went on much better, but this is a brand new can. So that may have made a difference. I felt much more confident about giving this a really solid layer of paint. And then I went in for some frosting on my ivy. I think perhaps that could do with a slightly heavier coverage. The test now will be to see how long my leaves last. And of course, if I was actually spraying flowers, it may well be that the Oasis paint, because it's been specially formulated, would be the better choice. I'm going to start off by putting my big leaves in first and if you're going for a really modern arrangement, wouldn't that just look great as is? Some choice here into the heart of my vase. And then a flourish of ivy out to one side. I fastened it with an elastic band so I can keep it under control. I may need just to try and encourage it to arch over the sides of my vase. 
I think I'll leave my vase like that for the moment and then I'll report back in the next couple of days to see whether I can see any difference with the longevity of my leaves comparing the Rustoleum with the Oasis spray. You can really see from this close-up shot what I mean about the Oasis spray paint. It's left me a really heavily splattered effect on my leaves and it could be down to, as I say, poor workmanship on my part or the fact that the can was very nearly empty. But I was disappointed with the overall appearance compared with the free-flowing spray of the Rustoleum. So here we are one week later. How did my vase of greenery hold up? To tell you the truth, I can't tell the difference between the ones I sprayed with Oasis spray paint, specially formulated for natural plant material, and the ones I sprayed with Rustoleum, the general purpose household spray paint. Based on this test, I think I'd stick with Rustoleum and not pay the extra for the Oasis paint, but of course I wasn't using it on more delicate, fresh flowers. You'll always find a vase of greenery lasts for ages because it's just much more robust. You'll have to let me know whether you've discerned any difference between using Oasis spray paint on your fresh flowers and greenery or whether you use a general spray paint too. That's all from me for now and I'll see you next time.